Chris. Welcome to January 2014. Happy New Year. Now, January starts off for you kind of where you're, you're looking things over and you're evaluating everything. And you may find that the tried and true are outdated and ineffectual. This is a good month for you to take a new path, take a new approach, change your plans. Pluto is working for the Taurus. Pluto is in Capricorn. And Capricorn is nine signs from you. Capricorn rules the area of your life that has to do with what you believe, your spirituality, your future vision. So Pluto is in harmonious energy flow with you, empowering you, empowering you and the Virgos. So you have an advantage over the rest of us because Pluto is in harmony with you, uh, growing you, giving you the resources you need to be successful. Yes, Saturn is over there testing everything you're doing. Saturn is testing all the Taurus, Scorpio, Leos, and Aquarians until Saturn moves into Sagittarius and then starts uh, challenging the uh, mutable signs. But for us fixed signs, Saturn is on our tail. And so if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling the heaviness of Saturn, remember Pluto is working for you. Pluto is about change and transformation. So if you're willing to make the changes, then you can find that that's your way out, that that is uh, an area that you can expand and grow with. So with the Capricorn new moon and your ruling planet Venus in reverse, uh, for the entire month of January, this is a good time for you to reflect on past actions, reflect on what's happened, and then move in a new direction. Make the changes you need to make because you'll be really happy you did. And then on um, January 15th, we have the Cancer Full Moon, and that is a harmonious uh, moon for you as well. The Capricorn New Moon is harmonious for you. Remember, Capricorn pours positive energy into Taurus. Cancer also pours positive energy into uh, Taurus. And so uh, the Cancer is about you looking at your day-to-day your -day habits, where you live, um, your attitude, your perceptions, your style of speaking, how you use social media. Um, this is a good moon for you. And um, it's, it's empowering you to make good choices for yourself. Now, I've included a lot of coaching programs. I'm going to be doing this in 2014. I've added a new one, 25 Steps to a Strong You and 546 Goals to Work On. So if you're looking for some new goals or some new things to focus on, these tools can help you. Now, the Cancer uh, Full Moon on the 15th does have your ruling planet Venus in challenge with Mars. And of course, the Grand Square. The Grand Square is going on. It started at the Capricorn New Moon, and it's going to go on um, for the first six months of uh, 2014. Your ruling planet is involved in it. She's squaring Mars. She's opposing Jupiter, and she is squaring uh, Uranus. In, she's in reverse, so she's going back now and uh, activating this Grand Square. So this is a good time for you, like I said, is to change what's not working. Get off the beaten path. If the tried and true aren't working, that means they're outdated and ineffectual. And this is your, Venus is saying, hey, let's change our plans. Let's change our approach. Let's take a new path. By doing that, you completely shift the energy and you empower Pluto to lift you up and give you the resources you need to do the things you want. So maybe you need to move. Maybe you need to start a new job. Maybe you need to, um, you know, whatever changes you need to make, uh, now's the time to do it. January is a good time for you to innovate yourself, especially with the Aquarius new moon coming at the end of the month. Uh, we have two super moons in January. Super moon means the uh, sun and the moon are in direct alignment with the earth at the time of the full moon of the new moon and in closest proximity to the earth which makes it incredibly powerful, incredibly potent. And for you, the Capricorn one is pouring positive energy into Taurus saying, go for it, 
Don't stay where you are. If it's not working where you are, move, change, shift, adapt. Okay. And um, then the Aquarius new moon happens in your um, area of career and legacy in the world and your reputation in the world. Now, for you Tauruses who don't work or you stay at home or you're retired, this is your human beingness in the world, your effectiveness as a human being in the world. And so the Aquarius new moon at the end of the month uh, for you is uh, really exciting because um, I love this new moon. Um, Pluto and Uranus are not in a challenging aspect to it. In fact, Uranus is in harmony with it. So this could be a new promotion for you. This could be a new job for you. This could be uh, for those of you that own your own business or have been in your job for a while, this could be a new breakout time for you where you do something that, you know, how you innovate. Like I said, if you make those changes, you get this new promotion or you get new clients or you get new customers or you get a new business. Um, but it's really good. So if you're feeling stuck, that's the universe saying, Taurus, move in a new direction. If you're always taking this road, take a new road. If you're always getting coffee in this shop, go over to this shop, right? Change it up. Change your routine up. By doing that, you're moving the energy. And when we move the energy, it allows for fresh opportunities to emerge for us. Venus and the sun will couple on January 11th. And this is where your ruling planet is saying, time to evaluate your goals. And that's why I've given you the 546 goals to work on. <laughs> and um, also, how are you using your resources? We always want to have a good return on investment, right? So that if we are investing our time, energy, love, heart, money over here, we want to see a return on that. And what changes can you make to improve your finances? This is the Venus retrograde questions. And, and so um, for you, this is about you know, your future vision. It's about what you believe. It's about your spirituality. It's about your consciousness. It's totally expanding. And um, it's a good opportunity to, you know, really look at where you're investing your time, energy, heart, and money, and what is that return on investment, right? Um, and, of course, that Cancer Full Moon is lifting you up as well. And, uh, you know, the Sun enters Aquarius, and then Mercury enters Aquarius. This is all in your 10th house of career, destiny, what you do in the world. And then by the end of the month... Um, you have another fabulous super moon in this area of uh, your reputation in the world, your profession in the world. So there's a big focus in January and the first part of February in what you do in the world, which is awesome because it's, it's speaking to promotion. It's speaking to opportunity. And Uranus has got something really good here for you because Uranus is in harmony with this new moon and it's going to come out of left field like you're not even going to see it. It's like, it's like the angels are working for you behind the scenes. It's like people you didn't even know were your allies are speaking good things about you and helping you get promoted, helping you get a new, uh, better job or more clients or customers. But there's those that are speaking well of you and out of that comes this new opportunity that you didn't even expect. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> wow, this is really good. And it all has to do with you being flexible and trying new things and being open to the new, being open to new way of living, new style of living, a new way of approaching your work, a new style to your work. It's good and it's exciting. And, you know, your ruling planet you know, she's really evaluating things, which means it's time for you to evaluate things. And by doing that, you know, you release what no longer serves and you align with what is working. And then that gets stronger and more powerful because don't forget, 
Pluto is harmonizing with Taurus. Pluto is going to be with you for years and years to come, empowering you, strengthening you, expanding you, bringing you money, bringing you new opportunities to travel, new opportunities to go on in higher education, new opportunities to teach, new opportunities to use social media to expand your presence in the world, to expand your business in the world, to expand your interests in the world. So January is a time where um, you are, uh, it's all about, you know, what you're doing and what needs to change in order for you to have the life you truly uh, want and desire. Um, big focus going on in your spiritual growth and travel, big focus going on in uh, your career and your reputation in the world and what you do in the world. It's really exciting. Um, there's a lot of good things coming in here for you, especially when Venus goes direct because that's when things can happen. Sometimes when Venus is retrograde, things get delayed, but everything is in divine timing. And patience awesomely pays off. So the more patient you are, the more the payoff will be. And you know, if things get delayed, that's because uh, the universe wants you to wait. And uh, delays are actually the universe protecting you from being impulsive or jumping into something before you're ready or others are ready before things are ready. And we don't want to do that. Timing is everything. We want to plant in the right season. We want to harvest in the right season. And we want to make our moves when uh, the time is most appropriate. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of creativity in here for you. And so this is a good time for you to evaluate things, evaluate where things are going, make the needed changes, and opportunity is going to be serendipitous with you. It's going to show up. It's going to be there for you. And so um, your ruling planet will be direct on the 31st, and that is the start of the Chinese New Year, which is the year, 2014 is the year of the green wooden horse. And I don't know a lot about uh, Chinese astrology. I know I'm the dog in uh, Chinese astrology and the dog gets along really well with the horse. <laughs> so whatever you are in the Chinese astrology, how well you get on with the horse um, is, is, you know, is good for you. And so these super moons, we've got three moons in January, two of them are super moons, both of them are new moons, which is a double new start. And for you, it's about travel, teaching, uh, education, marketing, sales, um, expansion of consciousness, your spirituality, and then of course that delicious, gorgeous Aquarius new moon in promotion, uh, career advancement, really taking off um, in your career at the end of January and into February will be really good for you um, with a career advancement. So it looks good, uh, Taurus. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and favoring my podcast. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like to work with me in 2014 and have me take a detailed look at your astrology or you're interested in coaching, the links are below. So until next time, may 2014 be your breakout year filled with love, joy, happiness, abundance, and success.